Tonight, Malindi Member of Parliament Aisha Jumwa is a guest of the state. The lawmaker was arrested that dawn was arraigned before Mombasa Chief Magistrate Vincent Adet of a violence that left one person dead in Ganda, Malindi, Tuesday night. The prosecution sought to have had detained for three weeks as a legal team applied to have the MP released on bail. The court will issue a ruling on the bail application tomorrow morning. Juma will spend the night at KPA police station in Mombasa. KTN's Rita Tinina has details. Defiant or is she combative? Aisha Jumwa found herself in unfamiliar territory, somewhat subdued. Behind the dock at the Mombasa Law Courts. Reason? <laughs> Tuesday night violence at the home of Ruben Katana, an aspirant for the Ganda Ward by election to be held on Thursday. The violence left Katana's uncle dead after he was shot in the fracas that is said to have begun after Jumwa stormed the meeting at the aspirant's home. Her bodyguard allegedly shot at the crowd in the ensuing scuffle that saw police fire at the crowd. The Malindi MP was arraigned in court alongside Geoffrey Otieno. The prosecution sought to have the two detained for 21 days to allow investigations to be carried out. The MP's legal team objected to the application. The lawyers argued that no charges have been preferred against her. They asked the court to release her on bail. Chief Magistrate Vincent Adet will issue a ruling on the bail application on Thursday morning. Prior to being arraigned in court, Jumwa had spent over 10 hours at the KPA police station where she was taken after being arrested at her Kakuyuni home in Malindi at around 3 a.m. on Wednesday. Before her arrest, Jumwa distanced herself from the violence. <laughs> Mimi nikaingia kwa gari na nikaenda. So kama huko nyuma kulifanyika nini, kama kulifanyika nini, mimi yaisha siku weko na siku ona. Several MPs have criticized her arrest, terming it selective. Ni vurgu nyingi tumeona zikitokea wakati wa campaign. Tumeziona pale kibra na tu, tumeziona semu nyingi. Na hatujaona wausika wakiwe kwa ndani. The Minister of Interior and the Inspector General of Police to do their work in an objective way without being selective and discriminative as they apply the rule of law in Kibra and elsewhere. Also, Aisha Juma has a right to be, in, to be bailed, to be given bail, and to be informed why she's being held and allowed to be able to see her family. For now, Aisha Juma will spend the night in police cells, hoping to secure bail on Thursday. Rita Tinina, KTN News.